Hey guys, Harp here in the Kerbal Space Program once more. Just a very short video today, and it's the culmination of a project. Well, no, it's not really culmination, it's kind of just research, I suppose you could call it. After doing that planetary lander video, uh, which stressed me out a lot because it took so goddamn long to actually create the damn thing. Um, I was thinking, what is the minimum to get into orbit? The, the bare minimum, as in literally the bare minimum. And if we're going to design the bare minimum, then we've got to follow some... Well, I mean, we need to approach it logically. That's what I'm trying to say. So, first off, what engine do we want to use? There's no point using multiple engines when we know one aerospike and three fuel tanks, three fuel tanks can get a crew into orbit or at least one man, due to the recent updates. So it's going to be one engine, and why not use the most efficient one? <laughs> Makes sense, doesn't it? It's also vectoring, which means that we can remove the crew, save weight, and use MechJeb instead, uh, without needing to add RCS tanks, because MechJeb is perfectly capable of piloting a ship using the vectoring, using the rotation, rotational force provided by vectoring engines. And what can this engine that we've decided to use lift? Uh, actually, the only thing it can lift is a half fuel tank. It's actually the lightest fuel tank in the game, which, put together with all this, means this ship we've created, the lightest in the entire game, if I'm correct, someone please do correct me, the lightest functional one at least, is actually capable of getting into orbit. And I find that really incredible. <laughs> And I just wanted to share that with everyone, because I think it's great. It shows how simple rocket science really can be. So, if you liked the video, please do like the video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.